Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust my springs and weights around here in our MSD Pro Billet distributor with our 6AL box. So these distributors run pretty good, but there's quite a bit of adjustment that you want to have right with them. So um, it's running pretty good, but I think I have too much um, mechanical advance going on too early. So basically what you get when you get these distributors is they come with all these bushings and these springs and I'll post up a diagram from MSD of which ones do what but generally the the heavier ones will make the um, you'll bring in your advance slower um, as in it'll take a higher RPM to bring in that advance or the lighter springs will come in faster so it say that you have 21 degrees of mechanical advance then the lighter springs will make that come in at 21 or like 2000 rpm versus a conventional 3000 to 4000 so and you always want to select a spring curve that starts to open up after your idle setting so you probably don't want to use the two lightest springs in here which are these silver ones because uh, their curve starts advancing somewhere in the 700 RPM range so I'm not really a big fan of those I don't think there's any reason to use them and something also so what these stop bushings do is you use these to um, determine how much advance comes into the distributor you see I'm pointing at the red one here in the package so um, the smaller the stop bushing the more advance you're gonna get and the uh, the bigger the, the stop bushing naturally the less advance you're gonna get so generally you want to be somewhere in the um, 30 to 36 total timing range not counting your vacuum canister so or your vacuum advance canister but anyway so um, this red bushing brings in way too much timing I think it's like 28 degrees of timing and with your idle advance that's just way too much unless you're idling at five or something in that range so that's not really advantageous so you wanna have something somewhere in the middle right now I got the black stop bushing in here and I got a lot of um, initial advance so the black stop bushing is 18 degrees of mechanical advance it allows for and I'm at like um, 14 or 15 degrees of advance so that comes out in the 30s so that's just fine but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to turn this distributor back a little bit set it back to 12 degrees because um, they just changed the octane here so I can't be running the octane that I like to run um, we went from 93 to 91 is the highest I can get so we're going to make some adjustments so I'm going to take my black stop bushing out and I'm going to use my blue stop bushing and it allows for 21 degrees of advance and I'm also going to go ahead and change the springs so my advance comes in um, a little bit slower so I have I won't have as much advance at the lower RPMs Anyway, what we're going to do is I got the air cleaner off so I can just take the cap off and kind of move it out of the way. Obviously, we unplug our coil and we take our two screws off from the side. So there's one here and one on the other side. And you can't get this messed up because this cap only goes on one way. It has uh, guide pins on this side of the um, distributor. So we'll just get these out of the way. And same with our rotor, it has some guide pins in it, so we're not going to get that messed up. So it's just got two screws on the top here. You don't want to drop them into the distributor. So normally you check your advance first with the timing light, but I already know, have an idea what I need to be done. So I'm going to make our adjustments here and then light it off, and then I'll adjust everything. But as you can see, here's our into view here as you can see here's our springs here and here and our stop bushing is under there somewhere 
right there it is right there so usually it's advantageous to have this the distributor off when you do this but you know it's not a big deal so I'm just gonna get under there with a wrench but you see my spring orientation here this is the lightest spring and then this is the second lightest spring so I'm gonna go ahead and just put another blue one on so I slow my timing advance a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and change my stop bushing so I get a little bit more mechanical advance so I can be right in the 33 to 34 um, degrees of total timing that I want to have so anyway we'll go go ahead and flip take these out and what you want to do is just grab onto the edge of these with some needle nose pliers and bring it out over the loop and then you just slip the next one on so we don't really need to see that because I mean that's that's not rocket science um, and the stop bushing when you get down it's in this area so I'm gonna go ahead and um, probably take that off and change it so we'll go ahead and get to it and then we'll check back Sometimes you can just get it right on with your fingers like that. So there's our advance. Always want to make sure it's not locked up. All right, so we got our cap and rotor back on, and our coil all hooked up, and our timing light hooked up here, and our timing light reader on cylinder one. And we also have our distributor bolt loosened up. You never want to really be doing that with the motor running because you really don't want to catch your hand in the fan. If you see here, there's some blood. And I actually had stitches in my hand because I caught my hand in this while it was running. So if that's not a, you know, learn from someone else's mistakes, I guess. Don't make the same ones. But anyway, so you don't want to be really fumbling around in here too much with this thing running. So you want to have this loosened up beforehand so you can adjust the timing on your distributor. Now oftentimes when you adjust your distributor you're going to have to go ahead and adjust your carburetor and most of the time it's just your mixture screws and curb idle. Um, naturally a richer mixture will require more timing advance so um, if you're if you turn in your if your idle screws are set on the richer side and you're going to go ahead and set your timing to a more retarded setting then you're going to have to go ahead and probably lean up your um, um, your idle mixture screws if that's what your engine wants and this is all based on what your engine wants if it wants that richer mixture from the carburetor you're going to go you're going to have to run more initial advance so that's just, just how it has to be done so anyway we're going to go ahead and light it off and we're going to cap off our um, vacuum advance here which we do that by just unplugging it from the carburetor like so and placing a cap over it so and that's going to mess with your idle settings just a bit but not too much so you always want to remember not to get two into setting your carburetor before you hook your manifold vacuum back up if that's if that's what you're running so anyway we'll go ahead and light her off and see what our timing light says done now 
Um, what it ended up being is the engine is most responsive around the 15 degrees of time before top dead center um, initial timing set. So I went ahead and left my black stop bushing in, which allows 18 degrees of timing. So we're right there in the low 30s where we want to be. And um, I started to commit the uh, the carnal sin there of engine timing, and I run manifold vacuum, and I got it capped off right now, and I started adjusting my carburetor around. Now, I didn't do anything too ridiculous like changing jets, so I can change it back, but you always want to remember to hook your um, vacuum advance line back up, because with that unhooked, that's going to change all your carburetor settings, and when you go to plug that in, all those adjustments you made are going to be wrong, naturally, so um, you want to be aware of that that's um, pretty important so I'm gonna go ahead and set all that back and now with the motor off you can go ahead and tighten up your distributor make sure you don't move it when you're tightening it but um, we should be good to go so that's kind of an idea of what initial timing is total timing is um, and all that and how to adjust your distributor also your vacuum advance usually lets in 15 to 20 degrees of advance so but the vacuum canister only lets it in at high manifold vacuum so when you tromp it and you're into the power um, like sucking a rich mixture through the carburetor and you're under a pretty good load it'll factor out that vacuum canister that's really just for um, it really helps with efficiency and everything of that nature so um, you really don't want to factor that in you want to make sure you're not cruising around at 40 or 50 degrees of advance so you want to make sure that it's it's reasonable um, but pretty much that's the idea there so we're gonna go ahead and get everything assembled back together and bump our key over and see how she does alright so we got everything back assembled um, I undid my carburetor adjustments that I naively had changed because I didn't have my vacuum canister hooked up hook my vacuum canister back up and uh, ready to go so should just bump the key and she'll right light right oh boy I should just be able to bump the key and she'll light right off so no throttle no nothing